Chapter 53 The Stars In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful By the star when it goes down, your companion Muhammad has neither gone astray, nor has he erred, nor does he speak of his own desire. It is only an inspiration that is inspired. He has been taught this Quran by one mighty in power, endued with wisdom, for he appeared in stately form, while he was in the highest part of the horizon. Then he approached and came closer, and was at a distance of two bows length, or even nearer. And so did Allah convey his inspiration to his slave. The Prophet's heart did not lie in seeing what he saw. Will you then dispute with him concerning what he saw? And indeed, he saw him at the second descent, near the low tree of the utmost boundary beyond which none can pass. Near it is the paradise of abode, when that which covers, covered the low tree. The sight did not turn aside right or left, nor did it transgress beyond the limit. Truly he did see of the greatest signs of his Lord Allah. Have you then considered Lat and Uzzah and Manat the third? Are there males for you and for him females? That indeed is a division most unfair. They are but names which you have made up, you and your fathers, for which Allah has sent down no authority. They follow but a guess, and that which they themselves desire. But there has surely come to them guidance from their Lord. Or shall man have what he wishes? But to Allah belongs the afterlife and the former. And there are many angels in the heavens, whose intercession will avail nothing except what Allah has given leave, for whom He wills and pleases. Surely those who do not believe in the hereafter name the angels with female names. While they have no knowledge of them, they follow nothing but conjecture, and surely a guess is no substitute for the truth. Therefore withdraw, O Muhammad, from him who turns away from our reminder and desires nothing but the life of this world. That is the extent of their knowledge. Surely your Lord is he who knows best of him who goes astray from his path, and he knows best of him who receives guidance. And to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth, that he may requite those who do evil with that which they have done and reward those who do good with that which is best. Those who avoid great sins and evil deeds save the small faults. Surely your Lord is of vast forgiveness. He knows you well when He created you from the earth, and when you were fetuses in your mother's wombs. So do not ascribe purity to yourselves. He knows best of him who fears Allah and keeps his duty to him. Did you, O Muhammad, observe him who turned away, and gave a little, and then stopped giving? Is the knowledge of the unseen with him which he sees? Or is he not informed of what is in the scripture of Moses, and of Abraham, who fulfilled the commandments, that no person burdened with sins shall bear the sins of another, and that man can have nothing but that which he does, and that his deeds will be seen? then he will be recompensed fully, and that to your Lord is the final end, and that it is he who makes whom he wills laugh, and makes whom he wills weep, and that it is he who causes death and gives life, and that he creates the pairs male and female from tiny drops lodged in their place, and that upon him is a promise of a resurrection, and that it is he who gives much or a little and that He is the Lord of the Sirius star, and that it is He who destroyed the former people of Ard, and the people of Thamud He spared none, and the people of Noah before, surely they were more unjust and transgressing, and He destroyed the overthrown cities. So there He covered them with that which covered. Then which of the marvels of your Lord will you doubt? This is a warner, like the warners of old, the day of resurrection, draws near. None besides Allah can avert it. Do you then wonder at this recital? You laugh at it and do not weep, wasting your lifetime in vanities and amusements. So fall down in prostration to Allah and worship Him alone.
Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share, then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaq Atul Jariya in Islam. Sadaq Atul Jariya is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter. According to the Hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated by Muslim. When a person dies, all the deeds end except three. A continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them.